Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn in how to make a job listing website on Wix. So first thing that you should do is you just have to open your web browser and then you just have to log into your Wix Studio account. Okay, so once you're here, you'd be able to see all of your sites. The next thing that you should do is to simply click on the create new site option at the top right of your screen and then select use Wix Studio. Okay, so another tab will open right here. So now you can bring your ideas to life with AI. So get started faster with the help of AI. Tell them about yourself and get personalized tools, images, and text for your site. So you can click on start chat, but for this video, I am going to select set up without chat. Then right here, just have to search for if what type of website do you want to create? Okay, so we are creating a job listing website. So for example, hiring. So I'm going to select employment recruiter. Here, you just have to simply click on continue after that. Okay, and then just have to wait for a couple of seconds. And then once you're on your dashboard, okay, here, you just have to tell them a bit about your business. So what's the name of your business? I'm going to proceed with hiring. So you can also skip this part if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to click on continue once you're done creating your business name. Okay, so after that, just click on continue this one at the bottom right of your screen. Okay, so right here, you just have to set your default working hours. So this is when you and your staff will be available for booking. So we have here the days and then um, the time as well. And the time zone at the bottom. So we can skip this part if you want to, but I am going to click on continue. Then here, we can now start adding services. So I'm going to skip this part since we don't really need this one for this website then here we are going to add staff members okay so you just have to add your staff members and then click on continue after that now here what else do you want to do with your business so you just have to add the right tools for your dashboard okay and then i think i am going to skip this part okay so after that you're all set then head over to your dashboard to finish setting up your site. So just click on this button right here and then just wait for a couple of seconds. And right here we have to finish setting up our store. But for this video, I'm going to skip this part. So you just have to click on this one right here. And then after that, just click on the design side option at the top right of our screen. Okay, this one. Then just wait for a couple of seconds. And then right here, how would you like to design your website? So you can generate a design with AI or customize a template. So we can browse thousands of designs, then pick one to customize. So you just have to click on pick a template or continue with setup for now. So I'm going to click on pick a template and right here at the top right using the search bar, we can search for a relevant or specific template that we can use for our website. Okay, so let me just find the template that I can use. Okay, so if you're going to find your template right here, you just have to scroll down all the way to the bottom. Then you can proceed to the next page. Okay, so I think um, I might need to change the name of the template at the top right. So for example, job listing. Okay, so right here, if you cannot find the template, we can proceed to the blank template section. So right here, you just have to click on it. Then right here, we have the blog website templates. So we have minimal layout, classic layout, one page layout, um, strip header layout, gallery layout, and more. Okay, but for this one, I think I am going to um, start from scratch. Okay, so you just have to simply click on it. Just click on edit. Then once you're here, we can now start adding um, elements. So right here at the left side, we can add elements, add sections, pages and menu, site design, add apps, my business, media, and CMS. Okay, so now let us try to add a background on this page. Okay, so right here at the top, 
I think I might need to add elements first. So I'm going to add text and then add this heading. So here at the header, I am going to type out we are hiring. Okay. So since this website is all about job listing and we are looking for people that we can hire. So I don't need this icon right here. So let me just delete this one. Okay, so after that, you just have to um, place this tax accordingly. Then right here, we can now change the header design if you want to. So right here, we have the fill, the color, and opacity. And for the scroll, we have here the background. So we can change the background for the scroll. Okay, so here we have the theme colors. So if you would like to use a specific color, you just have to click on it okay and then after that you just have to choose or adjust the opacity so let me just close this one for now then let's proceed to this section so we can change the background of this one so to do that just simply click to on it and click on change background and you can change the background to color or image or video so let me just click on image Okay, so when you click on image, it's right here at the top left. We can upload our own media or use media from Wix. So for this one, I'm going to use media from Wix. And then using the search bar, I am going to um, search for a relevant image for this section. So for example, job hiring. So here, there are so many um, media from Wix that we can use. So you just have to find the perfect one. Okay, so I think this one is better. So once you find the um, image, you just have to simply click on it and click on change background. Okay, and then just wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see, we have successfully added here now our background. Next thing that we should do is we have to add a section. Okay, and then right here, we can add a section. So we can add a welcome section, about section, gallery section, team section, contact section, and more. But for this one, I think I am going to use the welcome section. And then of course, we can also add here the basics. So we can add forms and more. Okay, so let me just go to the welcome section right here. And I am going to use this um, template. Okay, so right here, I am going to change the text. So for example, um, work with us. And if you'd like to remove some of the elements that you think you don't need, so you just have to simply click on it, right click, and then click on delete. Okay, so let me just type out the start working with us. So I think this one is better. So right here, you just have to welcome your visitors to your site with a short engaging in introductions. Okay, then after that, we can change the background of this one as well. So we can proceed to the color. And then click on the plus icon and right here we can customize the color then make sure to click on the apply button in order to apply the color that you have set okay so i forgot to click on the apply so let me just do it again okay so after that just click on apply okay so you just have to click on x after that and then now let us add a new section right here okay for our jobs okay for the jobs that are available on our website so let me just add a new section and i am going to use the welcome section right here so you can click on it or simply drag it okay so let me just go back to the welcome section and then i am going to drag this template right here okay and then once done, let me just scroll down. And then right here, I am going to remove the background image on the other side. Okay, so just have to click on it and then click on change background. And then I'm going to change the color of this one. So click on color and then you can now customize your color. Okay, so I think this one is better. So after that, you just have to simply click on the X icon at the top right. Okay, and then I would like to change the color of this as well. And then click on color and then select your color. Okay, so let me just close this one. And as you can see, we have successfully created a good and simple looking website. So next thing that we should do is to add here the widgets. So to do that, we are going to use the elf site. Okay, so here on Wix, we can actually add here the job boards. 
So to do that, we just have to open a new tab and then search for offsite. Okay, and then here you'd be able to see this website. So when you click on it, you'll be able to see this page. Okay, so make sure to use or log in to your account. Okay, so after that, right here, offsite widgets help. 2 million plus website owners to increase sales, engage visitors, collect leads, and more. So you just have to simply click on the widgets option at the top. And then right here, under the tools section, we have these options. Okay, so go to the tools and look for the job board. So here it is. So all you have to do now is to simply click on it. So here, this is a responsive job board widget for our website. So all you have to do is to simply scroll down. Right here at the left side, you have to select a template to start with. So we have this different template that are available. So we can preview this template right here at the right side. So I think this one looks good. So I am going to use this one. So once you find your template, all you have to do is to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you can see the continue with this template option. Okay, so just click on continue with this template and then click on add job. Okay, so this one, click on it. And then right here, just have to type out the title of your job. For example, virtual assistant, video editor, or any kind of job. Okay, next is the company. So if you're under the company, you can type it out right here. For example, tact guide. And then the department, if you have a department, so you can add it right here. So let me just type out anything. Okay, and then for the location, of course, you have to manually type out right here the location of the job. Okay, so for example, I'm just going to type it right here, the country. So Philippines, and then of course, the salary. And as you can see at the right side, we can preview the thing that we are working on. Okay, and then next is the um, type of contract. So make sure to include the currency of your salary. So right here is the type of your contract. So if you have a contract type, so you just have to type out right here. Next is you can now apply here the link. Okay, so you just have to simply click on the gear icon at the right side. So here, if you would like to add a URL for the apply link or with your email or phone number. So for example, I'm just going to use my email for this one. Let me just type out my email. But if you have a URL, then you can just paste it right here. Okay. So after that, you just have to simply click on done. Okay. And then here, you just have to describe your job. Okay. So this would be the job description. And after adding your job description right here, we can add a cover and a logo. So you just have to simply click on add. And then after that, we can also add here the skills that we are looking for. And then of course, we are going to make sure to toggle the switch on to show the job. Okay. And then after that, just click on the add to website for free. So when you click on this one, okay, so let me just click on it again. Add it to website for free and you'd be able to get the code of this widget. Okay, now you just have to wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, and then after that, we are going to click on publish. So when you click on publish, you'll be able to see here the different plans. So we can pick a plan to install the widget. But for this guide, I'm just going to use the free plan. So if you're planning to go to basic, pro or premium, so you have here the price of the plans. Okay, so you just have to simply click on select after selecting your plan. Okay, and then right here, you'd be able to see or get the code for this widget. So all you have to do is to simply click on copy code. Okay, so now let's go back to our Wix website. Okay, and then right here, what we're going to do is to simply click on the page and then click on the add elements option at the top left. And then what we're going to do here using the search bar, just going to type out embed code or HTML. You can also find that options right here under the add element section. So here it is the embed code. So you just have to simply click on it and you'd be able to see here the embed HTML. So you just have to simply click on this one. Okay, and then what you're going to do here is what do you want to add? So make sure to select code and then paste right here the code. After that, just click on update. 
and then just have to simply click on the x icon at the top right of this page now as you can see we have successfully added the widget so all we have to do is to simply um resize this one okay so let me just click on it again and resize it and finally we have successfully added here now the available job so of course the number of the widgets that you can add here will depend on the plans that you are going to subscribe to so for the free plan of course we can only um install one widget so that is why in this video i'm just going to show you one widget for this job listing website so right here as you can see we only have um one widget for this plan so if you want to upgrade we just have to simply click on the upgrade button and then choose your plan now let us try to preview our website so let me just go back right here and click on the preview option at the top right okay so when someone visit our website and they're going to scroll down they would be able to see here our job listing so if they're interested on that specific job all they have to do is to simply click on the apply now option okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye